Step 9. Squaring up the frame. Before you install the back and front enclosures, purlins, and girts, girts are the horizontal members in the sidewalls, you should check the roof and wall assemblies to make sure they're plumb and that the height of each side post is equal. To do this, first check the front and back roof and wall assemblies to make sure they're plumb. Do this with a level on the verticals that go up to the side bend. If adjustments need to be made, drive a wooden or steel stake into the ground about 8 feet from the building. Now, use a motorcycle or ratchet strap to pull the sidewall plumb. Place a clamp on the sidewall so the ratchet strap doesn't slide down the wall. The installers in this DVD use hat channel as a diagonal brace. Hat channel is not included in the building kit for this use, but you could certainly use a piece of the hat channel provided in your kit. A couple of screw holes from when you take it off aren't going to hurt it any. Now, if you were installing one of our carports or the Sonoran-style building, when the front and back sections are plumb, tie a string from the front side post to the back side post down each side. This string will let you see if any of the other walls need adjustment. Now get up on your ladder and look down the eave. Are there any eave brackets out of alignment with any of the others? If so, remove the screws in the joint and raise that particular sidewall by hammering on the underside of the eave bracket. Hammer on the top side if the adjustment needs to be downward. Reinstall the frame screws in the new location. If you had to use the motorcycle or ratchet straps to get things plumb, leave those in place until the roof purlins have been installed. Something we've found very helpful when installing a Sierra, which is what this building is, or a Mojave or Teton-style building, is that when we need to straighten things out a bit, do a bit of tugging or pulling to get things straight or adjusting, as we just explained with a Sonoran or carport, then we keep all that in place by installing a row of hat channel next to the eave and at least one row near the peak to hold it all in place. Or you can accomplish the same thing by installing one row of hat channel at the eave on both sides, as you'll see later in step 13.